Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is Evermind Taroscopes, but in this video I am talking about the North Node in Libra. That's what I want to do. So this is an interesting one, okay? <laughs> this is a very interesting one because it is very much splitting yourself in half, <laughs> okay? Splitting yourself in half because if you have your North Node in Libra, then you have your South Node and Aries. And this also for people who are watching this with your North Node in the seventh house and your South Node in the first house, right? So before we get to the Libra part, the seventh house part, let's talk about the Aries part, the Aries part. Super interesting. So with the South Node in Aries or the first house, there. I want to highlight two to two of the different ways this can go. This can, of course, go many different ways, especially because you all have different combinations of energies, right? With the house placement and your sign placement, you have to blend those together. So really, depending on your combination of energies, it's going to be different. But generally speaking, right, just as much as I can generalize for a video like this, with the south node in Aries or the first house house there is these two, two ways that this plays out. One is this plays out in terms of the body because Aries in the first house is the body. And the other way this can go is just your yourself, like your own personal consciousness or even your own ego. Although Aries isn't particularly like ego, but it is the self, right? Just the self, the, the your own soul, your own energy. So, for some of you, this is going to play out more in terms of your body. And for others of you, this is going to be more kind of abstract to do with your own consciousness, your own self, your own personality, your own ego, that kind of thing. So you kind of have to feel into this because for some people, so let me address the body part of this is if the Aries South node is a body thing for you, That's tough because it essentially means that your body uh, is experiencing a lack of balance because the Libra North node is to restore balance in your life, right? Libra is all about infamously about balance and justice. And so if you have gone into, into a state of consciousness where the South node is in Aries, that means that there has been like a over fixation on your own energy and like an over fixation on, on like one thing, right? It's because there's only half. <laughs> it's like somehow you've become only half of yourself and it's weird. It's, there's a lack of balance because we all need to reach out into our North Node journey, right? We're reaching into the North Node and for you guys, you are reaching into balance, reaching into balance, which kind of suggests that until you go on your North Node journey, right? You are destined in this life to restore balance if you fully progress through your North Node journey and reach the Libra energy, right? And reclaim balance in your life, you can become like the ultimate balanced being. <laughs> but before you do that, right, there's this feeling of being only half or feeling out of balance um, in some way. So South Node and Aries can absolutely play out in terms of body problems, like diseases. Um, Yeah, I mean, I could list off list off a bunch of different body problems and a bunch of different diseases, but really what's the point? I can just say diseases and body problems and you guys got to get it, right? It could be a whole host of different things just depending on how how you're working through this. So interesting because this kind of suggests that your own evolution of consciousness as you go on your north node journey to restore balance in your life as you restore energetic balance and as you restore interpersonal balance as you restore justice in your life that will actually help your body right this is like there's really an element here of like psychosomatic symptoms or having manifested a disease because of an imbalance in consciousness and i don't want to like focus on that too much because it's not like you're being, I don't want you to feel like you're being punished <laughs> or, or that like the universe is punishing you for being out of balance or that like you did something bad and now you have this disease. I don't, I don't see it that way. Right. Um, it's just that it, it all comes down to a choice, right? I really see everything in our lives as being a choice, something that we, we have set up a bunch of, bunch of choice points before we were born. And for whatever reason, you guys chose on a higher level to essentially run this experience through your body, right? Um, because that is, for whatever reason, going to be a good way for you to process this. Some people process like imbalanced energies through their emotions, through their mental space, um, through interpersonal relationships. But for whatever reason, you guys have chosen to kind of run this imbalance and like digest this imbalance, do it in your body.
And that can be really good because sometimes, so I know some people with chronic illnesses uh, who like, it's like their, their bodies are falling apart, but they are really happy. They have great relationships, a great career and lots of money and they travel the world. So it's like they kind of have it all except for the body. And I mean, I don't know if I would make that trade, but it's like, it's, it's, it's interesting, right? It's sometimes it, it, everybody in some way has their problem, right? Everybody's got their problem. And with Aries the South Node, the body can be your problem. Um, but it, the good news is that by going on your North Node journey, that is how you will fix, that is how you will heal and restore balance to your body, right? Heal and restore balance to your body by going on the North Node journey, um, which is really interesting. Because you, you might feel that to heal your body that you need to like fixate, fixate, fixate on your body or like constantly taking medication and going to doctors. And by the way, guys, um, even though I'm super into spirituality and consciousness and how consciousness affects the body, I am also, you know, for my personal self, I don't care what you guys do, just for my personal self, I still see Western modern doctors, right? Um, and I happily take medication and do whatever. So I just wanted to be clear that I'm not telling you, like, I'm definitely saying if you want to see your doctor, see your doctor, right? <laughs> just because I don't want to look like I'm giving medical advice. You, you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> so, yeah you just might have these interesting experiences where you go on a spiritual journey um, and suddenly your body feels better, right? That's likely to be part of your journey. And so, of course, this isn't playing out for the body for everybody. For some people, the South Node in Aries, it's more in terms of the self. And for you guys, it is, there's this like, it's almost like your self has become a cage. It's like you've had many past life experiences that made you retreat from others because Libra is about your interpersonal relationships, right? Of course, with Libra, there's a lot of like emphasis on romantic relationships, but it's not just romantic relationships. It's also, you know, justice, right? Social justice, legal justice, and all types of balance. So Libra is a pretty big concept. Um, but you're likely to have through many lifetimes and even earlier in this life, you likely had some kind of experiences of maybe you faced injustice, right? Maybe this is playing out in terms of legal or social injustice and that really made you retreat into yourself, right? Um, maybe in past lives you had multiple experiences of just, or in this life, right? Whatever, whatever life you're looking at, um, in, in like, I mean, really, like abusive romantic relationships, right? Or just codependent and toxic romantic relationships. Are this going to be playing out in terms of friend, friends, right? Anybody you have a one-on-one -on -one relationships. Just this imbalance between you and others. Some kind of a lack of justice. And because of that, you've retreated into yourself. Um, because you were, were retreating into yourself for safety. Because it's a mess out there, right? Dealing with other people uh, just can't can't deal, right? And so you retreat back into yourself. I'm trying to create safety within your own safe space, but what you find is that uh, what your North Node journey will eventually show you is that you've kind of created a cage for yourself and it's making you shrink, right? It's it's like it's making you become less. <laughs> it's making you become less. You kind of shr you kind of shrink into yourself because you want to tend to yourself, right? With with and since we're talking about low frequency Aries energy because before you go on your north node journey, your, your south node tends to be rather low frequency, right? We talk a lot about like compromised, challenged south node energy that is eventually transcended and healed in your life where you can ultimately like l level up your south node and it's no longer a problem for you. But in the beginning of your journey, your airy south node can definitely be like this like entrapment. It's like, it's like this trap. This, the self is a trap. The self is a trap. Um, and it's like, it can be really crunched in on yourself and it can be really uncomfortable. So you want to go on the North Node journey, right? What does that look like? How do you restore balance? How do you come back into benevolent, beautiful, and equal interpersonal relationships? You need to like open the cage, right? Open the cage that you've put around yourself. And some of you, this might play out in terms of social justice, especially if you have like Aquarius energy or the 11th house somehow involved, right? Depending on what your combination is. It really depends on the combination of your, of your two energies. That'll help you figure out how this is playing out for you. But for the most part, there's going to have to be a restoration of balance between you and the other. You and the other. This is actually reclaiming your other half. So you could go super spiritual with this and you could take this to mean you and your higher self, right? You and your higher self. How do you restore balance between you and your higher self or you and the universe? 
restoring balance. And so you're going to have your, your whole North Node journey is going to have this strange experience of teaching you about the other, teaching you about the other, whatever the other is to you. Is it another person? Is it society? Is it the legal system? Is it the universe, right? Whatever the other is learning about it, learning about it, sometimes sitting back and observing, right? You might have this process of sitting back and learning about the other, observing and learning that way. Then ultimately there's gonna have to be an interaction between you and the other. So your North Node journey, North Node in Libra, is likely going to throw you into encounters with the other. And at first it might be a conflict, especially because South Node and Aries can be very, it can be, it's not always, not always, can be very combative, can be very aggressive. Not always, that is only one manifestation of low frequency Aries energy, but it can, right? You can feel triggered by the other. You can feel like the other makes you feel unsafe and you can have like knee jerk reactions when dealing with the other. For many of you, not all of you, many of you, this will play out in terms of a romantic relationship where you will essentially be, especially for the, the seventh house people, if you're in the seventh house, because that's really about marriage, right? One of the things about the seventh house is, you know, partnerships, including marriage. You will be challenged to work in partnership with others, in partnership with others. You maybe have like some kind of, some kind of marriage, right? Some kind of marriage experience where you feel like you have to give up the self. You feel like you have to give up the self because there's this with the Aries South node, there can be this feeling of, I need to sit here and focus on my needs. I need to sit here and focus on my needs. I need to sit here and focus on myself. I need to sit here and tend to myself and it can get very self-focused. Not that that is bad, right? Not that it's bad. If you watch the Aries North node, I talk all about how you need to return to the self and get your own needs satisfied. But the thing with the Aries South node, it's like you've been focusing on your own needs or focusing on your own body, right? If it's your body, if it's a health challenge for you, maybe you've just been overwhelmed trying to tend to your own body, right? So however that's playing out for you. But at some point there, there needs to be this North Node journey that pulls you where you will be challenged to stop focusing on yourself and you will be challenged to focus on the other. And this could be extremely challenging because maybe, maybe if, if this is playing out for you in terms of body problems, you might suddenly find that even though you are physically unwell, you find yourself like sacrificing for the other. Somehow looking after other people, even though you really should be look, really need to be looking after yourself because you're not well, but you find yourself looking after the other. If this is more of an interpersonal thing for you, you could find yourself um, some kind of hurdle. You have to make some kind of sacrifice in order to work in partnership with someone. So a really easy example is, Maybe you need to quit your job and move to a different country and leave your family behind in order to marry the love of your life, right? And you need to make this big sacrifice and it feels like a self-sacrifice because Aries is, it, is, Aries is gonna feel threatened if it feels like something is gonna put it out, right? Because Aries is a flame, right? And it could feel, you could, you could have to stare down this tunnel and this could be a really triggering, challenging thing in your life. You're gonna be like, am I gonna sacrifice myself to go on this journey? do I want this thing enough to sacrifice myself? Is this sacrifice going to be worth it? I mean, that's a choice everybody has to make, right? But there is really likely to be some kind of big choice like that in your life. Or maybe that comes up for you multiple times, right? Or like in smaller ways where you find yourself having to set your own needs aside to look after others, right? Setting your own needs aside to look after others so that you can engage with the other and learn with the other and restore balance with the other. And so when you ultimately do that, when you make that kind of self-sacrifice and you engage with the other and you've learned about the other and you've come into partnership with the other, then there's the kickback, right? I always talk about once you've done your North Node exploration, you've gone in your North Node journey, then finally there's a kickback effect where suddenly your South Node starts to become healed. It starts to become rehabilitated and you get your North Node and your South Node in balance. And now for you guys, this is so beautiful. I think this is one of the most satisfying things because you've been through this feeling of focusing on your body or focusing on your own needs or focusing on yourself and then having to sacrifice yourself to look after others or to just be with others or to relate to others or to work with others or whatever. And then finally, oh, once you get that Libra energy figured out, 
there's going to be this kickback where suddenly people are going to start looking after you or suddenly the experience that you've been on, the journey that you've been on restores balance to your body or it restores balance to your emotions or just it restores balance to your sense of self and to your interpersonal relationships. And suddenly you can find yourself, I mean, and this might be later in life, right? Because the North Node journeys are, I mean, really they go on for our whole lives. Um, but I mean, some people can have big experiences of like a North Node manifestation in their 20s but for some people it could take longer, right? It just depends on your own unique life experience. <laughs> um, and you could have multiple instances of these North Node manifestations. But as soon as you have the North Node experience kind of crystallized, it's going to be like, oh, suddenly they're looking after me. Suddenly I have harmony in my relationships and I have harmony in myself. And it was the experience of engaging with the other that restores balance with yourself. And then you have everything that you wanted, which is you feeling balanced and safe and secure and tended to and looked after. And so does the other. They have that as well. And now every, now everything's great, right? You have restored balance within yourself and you have restored balance with everybody else, including with the universe. So <laughs> balance is your guys's birthright. You just might need to really face some fears and unfortunately make some kind of self-sacrifice in order to get there. But know that everything comes back around, right? Really trust in the universe to bring everything back around and know that you go on this journey, but then you also loop back, right? I really see the North Node journey as a spiral path. It's a spiral path. And so you just keep going around and around on this journey. But every time you go around the spiral, it's leveled up and it's more and more healed. And you're rising up out of the low frequencies of Aries and into the higher frequencies of Libra and ultimately clicking them into balance. And that's when everything really works out in your life for you guys. So I think that's what I got for you guys. I'll talk to you later. Love you so much. Bye.